What's up gamers, Gamerdad here. This is Guy Double Complete, the Week 9 Weekly Quest, Enter the Inner Sanctum at the Eclipsed Estate. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that button and show me that support, and don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop, it is Gamerdad, all one word, all capital letters, I greatly appreciate your support. So, you're probably sitting here wondering, what the heck is the Inner Sanctum? Well, this is basically the place where you will find Cato Thorn at the Eclipsed Estate. The best thing about it is you only have to get into the Inner Sanctum. You don't have to do anything. You do not have to defeat Cato, and he is a beast, and I mean a beast to beat. But all you have to do is get in there. So coming here late in the game probably is the easiest for those that are not, you know, uh, comfortable with these strongholds and dealing with lots of low-card guards and stuff. But I would at least give it one try right off the bat, landing here off the battle bus. And then if you want to, even try come here in the storm and just get into this place and see if that works out for you. Because you don't have to defeat Kato. The key is landing on the rooftop. Right away, you want to get yourself either a heist bag or a chest and get a weapon or two that you're good with. Avoid dropping down there because you're going to deal uh, have some significant fall damage dealt to you. But you're going to come on over here. And even if you really want to, try going exactly where I've gone here. You can see I'm in the north northeast part of the area here so a business tour is absolutely amazing and super essential to make this even easier on you i dropped the the tour there i've eliminated two of the low card guards i'm just going to come over to the side of the building and i'm going to come in through here you don't even have to smash a window there's a heist bag i'm going to get this open there's a combat smg over there and i love the combat smg that and that sharp tooth shotgun are honestly all that i need the rarity is pretty weak but I'm going to come down here, in through this vent, through here. I'm going to check in on the map once in a while just to show you the progress along. Um, so you're going to drop in here. Now, when you see cameras, you want to shoot them. And if you see a turret, you want to unload on that thing. And the SMG is honestly one of the best things for unloading on a turret. So there's the camera. I'm going to shoot this camera as I go through here. There is a, um, a turret on the ground coming up right there. But I'm actually going to run by this one and go down the stairs here. So this is where these stairs are. And like I say, I'm trying to check in with the map to make it easy for you. If you have 100 health, 100 shields, it's going to help just in case you have turrets hitting you and stuff like that. But it is not absolutely essential. For this, you just want to make sure you don't hit those red lines. It's going to bring a whole army of low card guards after you. I'm going to throw my business turret. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to use the business turret this time. But as you can see, I actually took out that turret quite easily with even just the um, rare rarity uh, SMG. At this point, I'm dropping that business turret just as an insurance policy. I'm getting very, very close to the inner sanctum here. The turret and myself are going to take out that other turret. So the business turret, I should say, was helping me take out that other turret. And at this point, as you can see, the business turrets were the hardest thing. This, by the way, is the wrong way. Do not go this way. So if you look at the top minimap, I quickly realized I was actually going the wrong way. And, you know, it's leaving the entire place so this is the vault we are almost at the inner sanctum you do not need a key card it's going to be open and Kato is in here you can already see that blue exclamation mark ahead the moment you enter that room which i'm showing you now up close here the moment you enter this room the challenge is complete you do not need to defeat Kato. so there's lots of chests out here if you are going to try to fight Kato, i would probably step into the room and then open these chests and then get ready for the fight it is pretty crazy. I use the, I throw the turret in right off the bat. You can see right there, the challenge is now complete. I'm going to fight Kato. I'm going to beat him. It is going to be a, a severe fight, but it is well worth it. You get 3000 XP for doing that. So I do hope that the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like, leave me a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button and jump that support. And don't forget to use my creator code in your Fortnite Adam shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thanks for your support. Good luck with your challenge. And until the next video, this is GamerDad.